the sun-drenched tropical paradise of Isle Del Pino. We're so pleased to welcome you to our beautiful home. Come enjoy a natural wonderland to which we've added the world's finest resort facilities, a spectacular amusement park, and succulent seafood. Whoa. All this and more await you on Isle Del Pino. Come relax and let us refresh your body and spirit. Super Baby Mario here. Welcome to Let's Play That Game That Mario Just Said. Um, yeah, this is Super Mario Sunshine. It's one of my favorite Mario games, and one that used to not get a lot of love from anybody, but recently it's gotten a lot more, I think. From what I've seen, at least. Freaking Mario, hit the block. God. Yeah, I'm just going to erase those two files, because, well, uh, this is going to be the file I'm going to use. This is going to be the backup in case I have a recording failure, which shouldn't happen, but it might anyway. So, yeah, start a new game, and let's go. I am most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. <laughs> Gotta love that voice acting. Anyways, yeah, there are, I think, like, a total of six cutscenes in this game, and three of them are within the first 15 minutes of the game, so don't have to worry about cutscene overload. Power-up complete. Thank you for purchasing this item from Gab Science Incorporated. Preparing to register customer information. Scanning and classifying subject data. Subject identified as Mario, resident of the Mushroom Kingdom. Data storage complete. I am Flood, a flash liquidizer overdosing device. I hope to be of assistance. Proceeding with user instruction. Use the R button to shoot water from my tail. If you press the R button all the way down, you can stop and shoot. You can then use the control stick to aim in any direction. Press the X button to switch to the hover nozzle. You can then press the R button to hover in the air for a short time. If this tank is empty, no water can be sprayed. To refill tank, enter a body of water and press the R button. Instructions complete. Proceed. No, I don't want to hear the explanation again. Also, you gotta love how, as soon as I say you probably don't have to worry about cutscene overload, there's immediately another cutscene that I completely forgot about, so there's actually four cutscenes within the first 15 minutes of the game. But, yeah, those will be the only ones for a while. 
Actually, there's gonna be one more shortly, but whatever. Actually, now that I think about it, there's one fairly soon after, but whatever. There's there's not very many cutscenes in the game, is what I'm trying to say. Anyways, um, that boss that I just murdered while talking about the cutscene. It's actually more of a mini-boss. It's called a Polluted Piranha, and basically what you have to do is just spray water into its mouth three times, and uh, now we have our first Shine Sprite. Those are basically the power stars of this game if you've played other 3D Mario games. Um, yeah, I'll save. And hey, guess what? Cutscene. Hmm, quite an unusual device. Is it some sort of pump? I am blood. Glad to meet you. Kite is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home, and yes, endangering our very way of life. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the Shine Gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. I judge the defendant guilty as charged. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Until Isle Delfino is completely free of his vile handiwork, Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution. But the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a Shine Sprite. Shine Sprites are the source of power on Isle Delfino. They used to gather in great numbers at the Shine Gate, but the graffiti incident has polluted the island and most of the Shine Sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. The only way to ensure the return of the Shine Sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve this situation. Holy crap, overly long cutscene that I don't want to see again. You can't miss the mess now. Your first job's to get rid of all that ugliness. And remember, we'll be watching you, pal. We'll know if you start slacking off. Oh my god, game. Okay, so... Yeah, basically the Shine Sprites are what you want to collect in this game, they're the main collectibles. There are 120 of them in the game, and I'm going to be getting all of them, even though I've never done that before in this game. But anyways, here we've got another Polluted Piranha, which is going to be... I was about to say it's going to be very easy, but then I failed at it. Um, yeah, I haven't played this game in probably like two years, so... I might have issues. This is kind of a spur of the moment thing that I decided to LP this game. I was kind of just looking for a new LP to do and then cutscene. Princess, look! On the statue's head!
I promise that was the last cutscene for a long time in this game. Anyways, uh, that right there is Shadow Mario. He's a dick. And he's stolen Peach, so he's going to... Yeah. Uh, he's the one that's actually responsible for the goop incident, in case you can't tell. So basically, you just want to run after him and spray him with your blood. And that was a lot easier than it should have been. I think that's the quickest I've ever caught him, which is kind of sad because he's not that difficult. Hello. Um, basically now you're just going to want to follow him, except I know where he's going, so I don't really have to follow him, I can just beat him there. Yeah, he's just gonna be here. Uh, dude, why are you just standing there? I spray you. I can, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, and for some reason, him running into you doesn't do anything right now. And he disappears into that giant M that he has created. So we spray it with water, and that is our portal into the first world of the game, Bianco Hills. Oh, I love Bianco Hills. Especially the music. But, yeah. We've got our first mission, Road to the Big Windmill. So yeah, basically what you want to do is just get to the big windmill and fight yet another polluted piranha. Yeah, I think you have to fight one of those five or six times? I think five sounds right. Anyways, shortcut here. I was gonna- I would have done it the normal way, but I don't really feel like it. And I just spray this pile of goo right there. And there's a blooper thing in the way. I don't actually know what those bloop, bloop, those bloopers are called. They're not really bloopers, they're just like bloopers that are made of goo. They're creatures that are made of goo that somewhat resemble bloopers, except they're actual bloopers in the game too, so I don't know why I'm calling them that. Anyways, um, that's the end of the mission, and that one blooper just kind of fell off of the side of the hill. And I need to stop calling them bloopers. They're not bloopers. And Mario, don't jump under the shine. There we go. Uh, as you might be able to see on the kind of on the HUD, I guess it is under the shine sprite. There's also yellow coins, which are you've seen already. There are also blue coins, which I'll be getting into later, but. Basically, you can collect, if you collect 10 blue coins, you can bring them to a certain place in Delfino Plaza that hasn't been uh, unlocked yet, and you can get a shine sprite for them. And there are a grand total of 24 shine sprites that have to be gotten this way. And the blue coins are not easy to find, generally, unless you have a guide, which I'm going to, because I don't know where they all are. But yeah, there are 30 blue coins in each each world, along with 20 in Delfino Plaza and 10 in the final world. So yeah, I'm gonna have a uh, compilation video for each world of where all the blue coins are. Anyways, uh, this... Uh, this mission here, down with P. Piranha. Basically, you want to get to the top of the windmill. Can I shortcut this? Can I? Yes, I can. And there's a problem. Plant. And just want to hover nozzle around here. And that's convenient. Also, that M there, there's a blue coin there if you spray it. I'm not gonna get it because, yeah, that'll that'll be saved for the compilation. But I will have to remember that. Not that it's easy to miss or anything, but whatever. Anyways, there's Petey Piranha. You probably know who he is if you've played a Mario game before. Well, not a Mario game. A Mario game after the release of this. 
Because there, he's been in a bunch of games after this, mostly the spin-off ones, like Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, and um, Mario uh, baseball games, and also, yeah, why am I blanking on this? Mario Kart Double Dash. But anyways, let's not talk about what games he's been in, let's actually fight him. Basically, you want to wait for him to open his big fat mouth, and then spray water into it. And then ground pound on his stomach. So, you do that three times, and then he's beaten. It's really not that difficult. The bosses in this game are really not difficult- oh, Whoa, holy hey! That wasn't what I meant to do at all. Whatever. Uh, the bosses in this game generally aren't difficult at all, except for one, which we'll be getting into a bit later. Well, a lot later, really, but... Yeah, they also like to reuse bosses in this game. Like, you fight this guy twice, there's another boss that you fight three times. And then there's a couple others who are on their own. And then there's the five polluted piranhas. But whatever, let's just jump onto this guy's belly. And what the hell? We we go through it apparently. Okay, <laughs> whatever, that works. I will take it. And that is the end of PD Piranha temporarily, because he will be back probably next episode. But yeah, that's... Epic... Camera! De Mario, stop jumping over the shines! Mario! There we go. Okay, so, that'll be it for this part. So, next time on Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine, we are going to do more stuff in Bianco Hills and get some more Shine Sprites. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.